Hey, what's up guys? VR Gamer Dude here, and today on VR on the Go, well, we're going to do a couple of different things. So, first, we're going to take a look at the new Oculus Go travel case, and, well, after that, it wouldn't be a VR on the Go if I didn't feature a little gameplay, right? So, we're also going to take a look at Eclipse Edge of Light, and, man, let me tell you, I got into that game last night for the first time, played it for about an hour, and I'm loving it. It is so super chill, decent graphics, so I can't wait to show you guys. But first, let's take a look at the case. So I really want to thank Oculus for sending this my way. It is a nice case, guys. It is super sturdy. It's got a nice feel to it. So I'm really looking forward to transferring my go over to it. Now, you guys know I have been doing this from my office for years with my Gear VR. We started with lunchtime with my Gear VR. We've kind of transitioned to VR on the go. Sorry it hasn't been a more regular thing like the lunchtime with my Gear VR used to be, but I got a big promotion at work and I'm a little busier now, so I've got to skip lunch a lot. But like I said, been carrying my stuff to campus for years and I've been using my Gear VR Innovator case. So eerily similar, right? So they definitely look very, very similar in design. Now, the Gear VR case is a little more leather look. This has a little more canvas look. They've got a different top strap to them. But I'm really interested to see what's on the inside of this case. Is it going to be able to store my equipment, all my accessories, in the same way that my old trusty Gear VR case has? So, Thank you, Oculus, once again for sending this out. Let's rip that sleeve off. Let's get in there, transfer my stuff, and see how it looks. Okay, so let's take a look at the old case first. So here's what I've been using. Uh, like I said, this is the original Innovator Gear VR case from way back in the day. And you can see it actually holds all of my stuff quite nicely. So I've got my Go in there, my Bluetooth controller, my Oculus controller, all these wires and things that I need for, unfortunately, recording from the Go. Uh, but is it all going to fit when I open the new case? That's what we want to see. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? So let's go ahead and pull the sleeve off here and uh, see what's inside there. Now, loving that. It's got the Oculus symbol right on it. So no longer carrying my Oculus Go and something that says Samsung. So I know that's kind of stupid, but I kind of like it. So let's take a look inside the case. So let's go ahead and unzip it here and open it up and boom. Yeah. All right. So already I can say very similar. I like the segmented compartment here in the front. I like the flap there. What I already noticed that I am going to miss, though, is the mesh here in the back. So don't know where all my cables and cords are going to go in this case. But let's go ahead and get stuff transferred over and uh, take the little instruction manual. I don't know why we'd need an instruction manual for a case there. But let's go ahead and start moving stuff over here. So got the go. Let's put that right in there. And that just fits like a glove. And looks like we still have room for the Bluetooth controller there. Um, and get that in there. And looks like we've got room for the Oculus Go controller there. But once again, I don't know where I'm going to put this jumbled mess of stuff that I normally carry in my Go. So I'm assuming I could probably just shove it all in here, but that's not going to be very tidy. Um, but you know, all that aside, for the people who normally wouldn't carry around extra cables and adapters and the things that they need to record their Oculus Go gameplay, I think this case is going to work fantastic. So, alright, that's enough about the case. Let's get into some gameplay and check out Eclipse Edge of Light. What's going on? Uh oh. We're gonna crash. Whew, we made it. Alright. Oh, hey, now I'm getting sucked into the engine. That was close. Mm 
really need to shut that engine off. So here we are, we are in Eclipse, Edge of Light, and a couple of things I wanted to note uh, before we get started here, um, I have changed the options, I've gotten rid of the helmet, uh, which uh, was giving me personally a really annoying effect of reducing the field of view every time I move. Now I understand why the developers did that, because it is free locomotion so thank you thank you thank you for that um, in fact I didn't even see an option for teleport in this one so for those of you with motion sickness issues definitely keep the helmet on it is gonna help you out but if you're like me and you don't suffer from that by God turn it off it makes this game so much more immersive so alright let's go ahead and get started here now like I said it is free movement but unfortunately I didn't find any free turning so you are definitely going to want to play this one either in a swivel chair or standing. Uh, standing preferred. I mean, it just seems to always help with the scale. Uh, just makes everything so much more immersive. So, all right, speaking of immersive, you know, the main thing in this game is you've got this little uh, orb thing that you can kind of throw here, and we'll get into how that opens doors and, you know, uh, works with puzzles. But I, I do got to say, it, it's not full kinematics, but it is kind of interesting that it almost gives a little bit of a pseudo positional feel in certain aspects here. So props to the developers for working with what you got in the three doff here. Um, but yeah, not hating on it. Just really, really, really looking forward to Quest. Uh, get some good six doff goodness and stuff like this. All right, so let's see here. So, like I said, basically want to throw the artifact and boom, and knock the ship out of the way there. I get to see some cool background stuff forming. Man, I gotta say, I really like the art style, the look of this game. Um, it was a little weird with the planet being kind of stretched and warped there, but uh, other than that, I'm digging it. SOS, pilot ID, ship hit by beam, beam, not bean, beam of light, uh, heading north to the tower for safety. Alright, let's go see if we can find who wrote that message. And yes, so looks like we do have a jet pack here, so we'll just press in on the touchpad. Uh, it'll take a little getting used to, because um, you got to kind of press in and then kind of slide your finger in the direction you want. But once again, just kind of making use of the, uh, the, the Oculus Go controller here. Okay, so um, we also want to scan artifacts. So, let's see how else we scan that. There we go. Devastation once harmed this planet. Now it's time for it to be healed. That's right, it's time to heal the planet. So... Looks like we're going to be scanning things as we go through the game, and that's probably going to reveal a little backstory here. So let's get a scan on these. The one who holds the artifact during the eclipse has the power to heal the planet or destroy it. All right, so always love that. Um, I think it was, I don't know, God, back in the PlayStation days, Legacy of Cain. Uh, getting to the end of that game and then being given the option to either, you know, heal the world or destroy the world. I uh, thought that was always really, really cool. So, kind of makes me feel like I have the power. Let's get this on this one. Alright, those who are not pure of heart will relive their lives here. Uh-oh. Well, that's not reliving my life. So far, I gotta say, I'm really also liking the scale um, in here. Everything definitely looks big. Okay, throw the artifact at the material to make it more. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we can build little platforms here to get up. 
Now, in the time that I played, I think I played about 45 minutes of this the other night, um, I didn't really see very much more uh, puzzling than stuff like this, but it was still, you know, early in the game there, so let's recall our artifacts, so maybe it'll get into some puzzles, but so far this has kind of seemed more like a uh, walk and scan kind of thing. Okay, so red gravity wells will repel the artifact. So, I'm going to sleep on this, and that's right, I never was able to get the artifact in there. I always wants to go up there, I don't know if I'm supposed to, but it didn't stop me from playing when I played the other night, so I'm just kind of moving on here. Okay, so call it. Like I was saying, I'm really loving the scale of some of these rooms. I mean, they just look huge. In the go. Let's break that stuff. And the throwing mechanic, you know, feels pretty good for what it is. Um, obviously, it's not going to feel 100% proper um, because it is kind of just extrapolating where it thinks my arm is going. But nice little flick of the wrist there. Kind of usually get you where you want to go. I see you hiding back there. Aha! There. So, alright. Let's go ahead and stand on the pressure plate and there we go. Cool. Hologram. Um, hey, bud. Kind of phasing out there. Let's see. So we can use it to break items as well. Uh, it's a space bull. Where are you going, buddy? Uh, okay, I'm just going to follow you. You. No, I cannot ride the space bolt. Okay, so looks like we got some stuff to explore here. Source of ecological equilibrium for the planet. Purifies the air, provides shelter for birds, and sustenance for certain animals. So, you know, environment friendly vibe here. So, like I said, the, the flying mechanic, the, the movement gets a little weird because you feel like you want to press in on the uh, on the the uh, trackpad here on the Go controller, oh. and then it makes you move forward when you slide your finger. So, developers might want to take a look at that. It, it would definitely feel much better to just press in and not have to. Animal bones. For every beast that is sacrificed during the weekly Sabbath, ten more will be reborn. So, looks like they're having barbecues weekly.
I will say sometimes it is a little difficult to get in the proper position to scan something here. Hammer. With the hard work of our people, this tool helped us to build a beautiful society. Yeah, you know what? Your society's looking pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not hating on the graphic style in here. Obviously, it is a little minimalistic. Uh, that is going to be you know, the fact that this is on go. Um, be interesting to see if the graphics, uh, what the graphics would look like if we were playing this on a rib. Uh, chisel a tool to make stone etchings. So, then like I'm scanning all this stuff, I want to pick it up and use it though. desperate need to be healed, the planet blindly pulled in anyone approaching its magnetic force field. So, planet definitely needs me. Um, it wants to be heal, so I don't think I'm going to do that. But, you know what, guys? I think we are going to go ahead and cap it here. Um, I am doing this on my lunch, as I always do from my office. And, yeah, I'd like to eat a little bit before I have to get back out there. But, man, I got to tell you, Eclipse Edge of Light. Not hating on this game. It is definitely a chill uh, you know, a chill title, uh, so if you're looking for something, you know, uh, a little chill, good music, decent graphics, great scale, I would recommend this. So I am going to throw a link for this down in the description, but for me guys, that's it. I'm out of here today. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video if you did, and if you did, I have a surprise for you. So Oculus sent me an extra go case and I am gonna give that to one of you lucky folks who decided to watch all the way to the end of the video so all you got to do is be a subscriber here on the channel leave a like on the video and uh, give me a comment down in the comments below telling me you know what VR means to you and uh, you know what what you see as the future for virtual reality let's do that let's let's uh, Let's have you write just a little paragraph about what VR means to you and what you see as the virtual, uh, the future of virtual reality, and I will pick one lucky winner from the comments below. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. This is VR Gamer Dude signing off, y'all. Peace.